Last night we all learned that the state of New York has subpoenaed banking records relating to several specific instances of Donald Trump's financial fraud, including the bank fraud he committed while trying and failing to buy the Buffalo Bills. Palmer report explained that this is New York's way of targeting his assets, which can be seized after he fails to pay the massive financial fines they're going to hit him with. Now it looks like Donald Trump is interpreting New York State's actions in the same way we are. Rather than merely shaking the whole thing off, Trump revealed this evening that he's very much scared about what's being done to him. Not only that, Trump went so bonkers about it, he ended up attacking his home state in the process. Here's what Trump tweeted, New York State and its governor, Andrew Cuomo, are now proud members of the group of presidential harassers. No wonder people are fleeing the state in record numbers. The witch hunt continues. Wait a minute here, because this doesn't even make sense by Trumpian standards. For the record, Trump is wrong about people fleeing the state. New York did see its statewide population decrease by about 1% from 2017 to 2018, but that's almost a rounding error. According to census estimates, New York City's population continues to climb. So what's Trump talking about here? Nothing at all. He just couldn't think of a better insult about his home state, even as it moves in on bankrupting him.